guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you all the products in my cream cheek collection. I have done cream product collections in the past. I will have those two videos linked down below. In those videos, I featured cheek and eye products, but I just have too many that I'm going to just split them up. Let me know if you'd be interested in the eye product part. It would be cream shadows, liquid shadows, and pencil liners. If you're not interested, totally get it. But I've been into cream cheeks more, so I wanted to show you what I have. And then I do have some wish list items. And I'm actually just gonna start with the wish list products because I'm afraid that I will forget them, forget to mention it. And first for cream and liquid blush, I don't have too many because I do prefer powder blushes overall. But the first one is a new release and I can't wait for it to hit Ulta. And that would be the Persona Stick Blushes. They have a really pretty like peachy nude called Teddy, which is the one I want. Then they do have a bubble, which is that pretty Dior pink. And then they have a red color. So that is just going to be lovely especially if it's anything like their bronze or formula which i do have and the other blush is actually a liquid the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade bliss which is a really nice light peachy pink color and i think that would be just beautiful and i missed out on a set that included that shade and two others that i think i would get use out of and they were this size i believe which is just perfect point 11 fluid ounces or 3.2 mils just the most perfect size. I'm so mad I missed out on the set. It was $25, which is so good. And then I tried looking online for the set and of course people were charging way more than what it cost. And I contemplated it, but if I could get it for 30, maybe, but I wouldn't pay more than that, including shipping. So let me know if you have those shades. And I do also wanna go in store at Sephora and swatch them to see if I actually do like those shades or would like those shades as much as I'm thinking. But really, if they sold these individually, I would be happy to just buy Bliss. But I will keep an eye out for that set at a good deal, brand new. And I'll also keep an eye out for other sets. So let me know if you see a new Rare Beauty set pop up. But that shade looks lovely. Then you guys know cream bronzers are all the rage and I really want all of them. The new NARS cream bronzer in the shade Fair has been sold out for forever on the Sephora and Ulta websites. It just restocked at Ulta, but I'm gonna wait for a coupon. Also, Beauty Blender has a duo with a cream bronzer and a powder highlight that actually looks very pretty. I haven't seen anybody do videos on it. It's so crazy because it was on Sephora for a couple days, months ago, then went away now it's back and on their website so odd but i do want to try that form i think that's a really cool concept because i also prefer a powder highlight and then i do also want to try the charlotte tilbury bronzer but i don't know if i would like the fair or light shade better i don't usually like more cool tone things on me and the fair shade is a little bit more cool tone more contoury but it seems like maybe it's more neutral than cool. I don't know, I'm a little bit afraid of the undertone of that. I would also like to swatch that in person, of course, and I don't even know if I will end up buying that one, but let me know your thoughts if you've tried it. I know a lot of people really like it. I'm just not sure which color I would prefer. And those are the main ones on my wish list, but I'm also sort of thinking about the Tower 28 cream bronzer, which I know is more of a shimmery finish, so that seems a little bit interesting, but so many out there to choose from. But getting into the ones that I have, I do have two liquid bronzers. This one I've had for a really long time and I used to very much enjoy this, but I don't know that I love it as much anymore. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer only came in one shade. This is no longer available and it's very watery and it does sheer out my foundation a little bit, which is a little annoying to me. So it just depends on the type of product that I'm pairing with it. And there it is right there. It is a warmer shade. Then I got this in a set. I've only used this once, so I need to play with this more. It's the Iconic London Sheer Bronze Liquid Bronzer in the shade Caramel Glow, which I think is either the second or third shade in the range. But basically this one's like a liquid and this one is like a very liquidy cream. You can tell it's a lot darker, but they're both more warm shades. Then we've got the cream bronzers. This first one is from Anastasia. It is the cream bronzer in the lightest shade Sun Kissed. And I've only used it a couple of times, but I don't love the color of this. I feel like the shades are off, which to me feels like how I feel about like Anastasia brow products. At least the blonde shade looks green on me. And I feel like that's how this looks. This is very olive. So if you were a light skin tone person that has more of that greeny olive undertone, you might really like this. 
but it, it just doesn't really work for me. I want to play with it a little bit more, but I do think I'll end up decluttering it. And I know that An Angelica has a shade from here that she likes, but I think it might be the third shade in the range. I don't know. The undertones all just look off, which is how I felt about their powder bronzer, except the shade saddle. The rest of them are very pinky red tone, which doesn't work for me. So it's a good formula, but the colors are a bit off. Then the one that I've been using recently is the Tarte Brazy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. And I do have a mini. I think they only have two or three shades, so I don't know why they wouldn't both be in a mini. I don't think so anyway, but I'll let you know. In the description box, I will have like how many shades there are of every product. But I do know that recently they released duos with a cream blush and bronzer and they have a light version and a deep version. So that's nice. But I do like the formula of this. It's very creamy. It's easy to blend and it does have more of a powder finish. And this one definitely looks a little bit more orange or red compared to this one, which I do think looks a little bit more yellowy green. But this blends nicely. I have really been enjoying this. I just used my e.l.f. small stipple brush that I think works perfectly to blend out cream products. For liquids, I like to use just a regular beauty blender because I think the size of it is just perfect for my cheek. Then we've got some cream bronzer sticks. This one I think is my favorite, the M Cosmetics, and they have four shades. I think they have two more warm tone for bronzing and then two more cool tone for contouring. So on the lighter end, Tara is more cool toned. And I'm a little scared of that one, but I did recently see Patty. I cannot remember her last name, but I'll have it. She does amazing eye looks. She tried Tara and it did not look too cool tone on her, so that made me interested. But I have Summer, which is the lightest, more warm tone shade, and it is perfect. This is the perfect undertone for me. It is warm without being orange. And this also has more of a powder finish. I absolutely love it. So easy to use. That has been my favorite formula so far. Then I have the Persona Bronzer Stick. And this one is in the shade Dune, which is the lightest of three, which I think is amazing. Their deep shade does look very deep. And this one is not greasy, but it's a little bit creamier, I think, than some of the other ones we've tried so far here. And the color is like a little darker, but you can see this one is a little bit more almost neutral looking and this one has a little bit more of that orange. So I do have to really make sure I blend that, especially around my hairline, but I really like this formula and I'm happy about the shade range they have. Then I have two of the Rare Beauty Bronzer sticks and I basically used them both so much trying to find my perfect shade that I just kept the both of them because I didn't feel right about returning them. So this first one, Power Boost, I think is a little bit more olive tone than I am. And then the second shade, Happy Soul, is a little bit more red. And it's definitely deeper, but there are those two shades there. Power Boost and Happy Soul. And these do definitely dry down. They are more of that like silicone primer type consistency, which is a little bit interesting. So I do like all of these formulas. And like I said, I like the colors on basically all of them except the Anastasia and the Rare Beauty ones are not perfect for me. I actually like using Power Boost around my hairline and then Happy Soul in the hollow of my cheeks because this is lighter shade, this is a darker shade. But honestly, if you're like, Heather, I want to get one, what should I get? M Cosmetics. I really like the consistency of this. And I know four shades isn't a ton, but I do think that they can be versatile because of how pigmented they are and how well they blend out. And this being the lightest shade, I think is great because that means the other ones are a good bit deeper. So I'm very happy with that. And then also Persona, like I said, this is the lightest shade and then there are two deeper ones which I love. I'm not sure what the undertone looks like in Anastasia but I know that there are five shades in this range I believe. Now that I mentioned I think the Rare Beauty ones actually go kind of deep as well. So really I don't think you can go wrong. I would love to know if you do have a more tan or deep complexion 
which lines you think have a good shade for you and undertone. That would be really helpful for people to know, but I am really happy with the ones that I have here. But like I said, if I could only pick one, it would be the M Cosmetics. But um, yeah, that's not gonna stop me from trying others. So then I have my little cream and liquid blush container, which is getting a little bit full, mostly because of the Merit Beauty. They take up a lot of space here. So I'm gonna start by showing you the liquid blushes because I only have two. I don't prefer liquid blush. I feel it a little bit harder to apply than a cream. So I'm gonna swatch them on the other hand. The Rare Beauty I have in the shade Adore, which is a really nice light pink that I don't think is too bubblegum pink to purpley cool tone there's a that one looks like and this i could not find on the website in this shade but it's a really pretty color it blends out nicely i was very impressed by that and then i have the m cosmetics color drop serum blush in venetian rose and this is one where i'm so glad i got it from boxy pop-up because i got it for a really affordable price these are very expensive I'd say skip these. I don't think that they're so easy to use. The packaging, while it's cute, is annoying to suck up product. This is a little bit more on the sheer side though. I think it blends out, but it's just a little bit more finicky than the Rare Beauty. But these are very pigmented, so you only need to use a little bit. But like I said, if you had to pick one or the other, I'd pick Rare Beauty. And then for cream blushes, I've got two sticks so i'll show you those the first i absolutely love the m cosmetics so soft cream blush in lychee which is a really pretty warm peach color with a little bit of pink in it it could even be seen as a little on the coral side this is a awful swatch i love this it's a great matte blush i am wearing it today it looks so good and even when I set my face with powder, it still shows up really well, blends out nicely. I love this formula. I would be tempted to get more shades. They have Venetian Rose in this formula as well, but I think I got the perfect color for me. Then I also have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Cream to Powder Blush Sticks. They come in four shades. I got the color Overruled. I would love for her to release some different shades. This is the deepest one, and it's a little bit more of like a rosy berry. And this formula is actually kind of similar to the Rare Beauty bronzers where it is more of that silicone-y formula, like an immediate dry down. So this is something that I think does blend pretty nicely, but you wanna work quickly because it will set. So I do like this one, but I'm not gonna buy any more of her existing shades. Then we've got the Merit Beauty ones, and I think that these are very cute packaging, but very bulky. I do wish that they would just be in a regular stick. And this first one is Beverly Hills, which is a really pretty, again, like warm peach pink color. And these are a little bit more sheer. Merit is very no makeup makeup, and this is definitely on point with that, but you can build them up to get a little bit more opacity and these do have more of a dewy finish not super tacky but they do have more shine to them than some of these others and then the other shade i have from them is a great warm nude in terracotta an awkward swatch i know but it is right there and there are a few deeper shades in this range which i think is good since there's only five of them but I think I'm good with the two that I have. I did try another color and I liked it, but I did pass it on because I didn't think I would use it enough. Then I have like cream to powder formulas and then just more creamy formulas. So I have three more that are just creamy. And this first one I got in a set. I love that it comes in this mini size because you guys know that we're not gonna get through these before they go bad for the most part, unfortunately. And this is the Tarte Breezy Cream Blush in the shade Peach Sunset. They have a few other colors, but this one is just the perfect shade for me. It is on the corally side. Love that. All of these apply nicely. I tend to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush because it just helps it blend nicely and it's a really good size for my cheek. Then I have the Tower 28 Cream Blush in Magic Hour and this is a nice more like neutral nudie peach 
And this one is a dewy finish, but surprisingly, I am able to apply this over top of my powder foundation to work and it does not look bad. It also doesn't transfer all over my face mask. So I've been really impressed with that. And it definitely does have a dewy finish. I wouldn't buy any more, but I am happy with the one that I have. Then from Beauty Counter, this is their Cheeky Clean Cream Blush. And I will have to leave the shade down below because this is a refill pan. I don't know what this one is. And it is their peachy shade. This is so beautiful. The makeup of the day I did with this one on Instagram, I absolutely loved it. And they do have a lot of shades as well. Again, more of a peachy coral. You guys know these are my types of colors. So just like a little bit lighter than that tart color. And I do think that the compact is really cute. It's nice that these are refillable. My friend Lauren has actually used one up. And then the rest of the ones I have here are cream to powder, which is my preferred formula because I do have oily skin and all of these do go over top of face powder nicely. So out of the MAC Glow Play blushes, I only have one and this is the shade Blush Please, which is so nice for that like sunburned cheek look that I actually really like in the fall. And there is that shade. I was tempted to buy more of these. I don't think I need them. At this point, I just would rather try out some different formulas, except for the M Cosmetics. I would get another shade in that one. And then this one has been in my collection for a while and I still hold on to it. It's like the only Kiko thing I have. It is the Rebel Bouncy Blush in Velvety Peach. It was limited edition. This is such a beautiful peachy nude. And this is like a putty formula taking me back to the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. And this one is the most nude of the things I have here besides Terracotta from Merit. Such a great color and formula. Then I have all four of the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. This is my favorite formula and I love that they have like one in each color family. So I'm just going to swatch these on my fingers. So this one is Mauve Sunrise. Got some under my nail, that's lovely. Then we have Pink Sky, which is a great pink because it's not too blue toned. Sorry for flipping you off. Then Coral Cloud, which is the more peachy coral. And then the gorgeous nude Blurred Buff. And there are the four of those there, mauve sunrise, pink sky, coral cloud, and blurred buff. Sorry for those bad swatches, but I love these so much. Great formula, such pretty, pretty shades, and I like to wear one in each season. And then this is a duo. This is the Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo, which has more of like a putty type blush and then a powder highlight. So I will just swatch the blush for you but this is a little creamier than the bare minerals and ah oh, that is such a pretty color i'll just swatch that on the bottom there but again a really nice cream to powder formula and then i have one highlighter that i just got i've only used it once so far the flower beauty spotlight liquid highlight comes in three colors i have the lightest shade opal which is the champagne shade and it has the same packaging as charlotte silvery it is a dupe and you are able to twist it open and close, which I think is really nice. So I need to play around with this more. I don't have my opinions yet, but I would love to see them come up with versions of blush and contour of like the Charlotte Tilbury. Right there is that shade. And then I have a cream and liquid product in my chopping block that I need to test out a little bit more. This first one is the Nude Sticks nudies all over face dewy color in sweet peach peony and i actually think this is a great formula i do not like the matte formula i don't think it's easy to blend but the dewy formula is really nice and this is a pretty color i may want to keep that <laughs> i just need to wear it and then i don't know if this will end up being too dark on me this is the illamasqua beyond liquid highlight in omg this is the perfect size for a liquid highlighter and i literally not haven't even opened it yet but we're here, we're swatching, so let's see. Whoa, 
too much. Oh, this will be fun though. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a little, like look at it in the shade, too dark for me. The reflect is nice and light. The shade is too dark. I will still give it a try. Maybe under foundation it will work for me. I have the powder version and it works well, but yeah. This is gonna be a little dark, but look at that glow. But I'm gonna play with those, give them a try. But you guys, these are all of my cream and liquid cheek products. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me know your favorites. Let me know some other shades I should try, other formulas, and I already shared with you what's on my wish list. Let me know what's on your wish list or if you've tried the things that are on mine and please share your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know if you would like an eye product version or any other breakdowns and swatches of specific collections within my main collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.